Tonight I decided to open up the artificial horizon so that we can take a look inside and the process was fairly straightforward. It was just a matter of removing these three screws and the entire assembly then just slides out of the main housing. So I was able to just pull it straight out without even disconnecting the wire. So it's still fully functional outside the case. And this video is just going to be a quick introduction to the internals of how this gyro works. And then I will be doing additional follow-up videos, operating the unit and testing it again outside the case. And we can see how the mechanism will actually self-correct the gyro inside. So being an electrically operated attitude indicator, the first thing we can see here is a printed circuit board with a number of electronic components. And as we move forward, we can identify the gyroscope itself, which is just inside this housing. It's that brass colored metal object inside. And I'll spin it up shortly so you can see that it is actually rotating. Now the unit is very finely balanced so that even when it's not powered it will fall to almost level and the reason for that is that it will speed up the alignment process when you turn on the power since the gyroscope is almost aligned with the level it won't take long for the correcting mechanisms to fine-tune back to true level so even though this is an electric attitude indicator, it still uses a series of pendulous vanes and air pressure for the correcting. Now, the way it generates that air pressure is that the rotating mass also has built-in impeller vanes, and that creates the airflow that is guided out through the four ports, which are controlled by the pendulous vanes, which we'll take a look at now. So if we spin the gyroscope upside down, you can see that little brass tab. As I just rotate the gyro slightly left and right, you can see that under the normal weight, that little brass arm is exposing the hole or blocking it. So that's actually one of the pendulous veins, and that's how the gyro operates to correct itself. And what I'll do is I'll just reposition the camera underneath and I'll have it looking straight up underneath the gyro so it's oriented in its normal operating position and you can see the pendulous veins from underneath. But just note how they are in fact just opening and closing that one port. There are four ports like that and it is the air pressure coming out of those ports either blocked or opened by the pendulous veins that does the correcting. So this is a bit awkward because I've got the camera pointing straight up and it's a bit hard for me to see what's actually in the video. But I'm holding the gyro directly above the camera. So we're now looking at the pendulous veins. Now what I'm going to do is cage the gyro so that the body of the gyro does not move as I tilt and rotate the attitude indicator myself. Now, when I roll left and right, you can see very clearly that pendulous vein is swinging left and right in accordance with the roll. When I move the gyro fore and aft pitching, you can see that the other pendulous vein is also swinging fore and aft. Now it is that movement which either covers or uncovers the airport and causes the correction to occur on the gyro and that's why it is able to always self-correct back to level. So let's take a look at this pendulous vein in action. Now when I move that gyro fore and aft you can see the pendulous vein is either opening the port or closing the port. Now what is occurring on the other side is the opposite. When this side is closed the other side is open, and when this side is wide open, the port on the opposite side is closed. And it is the direction of the misalignment that determines which airport is going to be open. 
and therefore the gyro is going to be corrected by the air pressure coming out of that side. Now you'll see that if I move the bottom of the gyro towards the front of the unit, the front of the unit is at the left of the video, if I move that bottom part towards the front you'll see that this side port is closed. Now if I reverse the unit, turn it around and again move the bottom of the gyro towards the front of the unit which is now at the right of the video you'll see the port is open so that's the opposite of what we had on the other side of the unit and the same thing is occurring when the gyro is misaligned in roll and that uh, other pendulous vein will be acting in a similar fashion to open one airport or the opposite one depending upon the direction of misalignment. So just to clarify, the only time you will have one port open with its opposing port closed is when the unit is misaligned. Once it has corrected back to level, we have a situation where both ports will be half open. So there will be an equal amount of air pressure coming out of both sides of the unit and therefore there is no correcting force being applied. When the gyro starts to misalign, even just slightly, you're immediately going to get a difference in how much one port is open compared to the port on the other side. And that is immediately going to result in a correcting force being applied to bring the gyro back to level. So remember, when it's level, both ports are open equally. As soon as there's a misalignment, one port will open more, the other one will close more, and there will be a correcting action. Now remember, this correcting action occurs any time a misalignment occurs. It doesn't care whether that misalignment is produced by normal precession of the gyro or by extreme maneuvers. If you're flying aerobatics, you could throw the unit out of alignment or simply by flying around the curvature of the earth. The unit doesn't know what is causing the misalignment. It simply responds to any misalignment immediately by correcting it back to level. Now I have seen some comments on my previous videos saying that these pendulous vanes are not designed to correct for the curvature of the earth. But that's a false statement really. They're designed to do one thing. They're designed to keep the gyro level. And as I said, they don't care what has produced the misalignment. They will simply take action to correct it. So again, it could be due to normal precession, extreme maneuvers, or flying around the curvature of the earth that is causing the misalignment and the pendulous veins are going to correct it regardless. They don't discriminate. So before powering up the gyro, I'm going to show you briefly how the caging mechanism works because it's quite clever. You can see on the roll axis, we have this nylon collar, which has an angle to it. And there are two metal arms here that are brought forward, one and two, when we pull the caging mechanism. You see they are moving forward. Now the first one will engage the nylon collar and it will center the roll axis. You can see it's forcing that roll axis to center and once it centers it allows the arm to move further forward and then engages the pitch caging mechanism. So there's two parts. So the first one serves to center the roll you can see that probably clearer there. It centers the roll and then it cages the pitch as well. So I'll just briefly power up the unit so you can see the rotor starting to spin. Now it is very noisy and it's quite late here. My wife and children have gone to bed so I won't do the time-lapse experiments now. I'll do them tomorrow in a separate video but I just wanted to give you a very brief run up of the gyro so you can see it working. Now over several minutes that's going to correct itself to level. 
And as I said, it's really noisy, so I'll just turn it off there. Yeah, so sorry, it was just far too noisy for me to do the time lapse tonight. I'll do them tomorrow and we'll be able to see the pendulous veins in action correcting the gyro back to level. I'll do it from several angles and I'll do some extreme misalignments and you can see with a time lapse the gyro correcting itself every time back to level. And remember the correcting mechanisms work based on misalignment only. They don't care for the reason of the misalignment. It could be due to precession, aerobatics or flying around the curvature of the earth. The correcting mechanisms have one purpose and that is to bring the gyro back to level.